The Verge is partnering with this year's inaugural Panorama Music Festival in New York City. And we're gonna be hosting The Lab, an incredible interactive art space running all weekend long. We spoke to Phil and Charlie from Mountain Gods, two artists who have work in this year's space. Their piece is called Gigantic Gestures. My name is Phil Serzega. I'm a designer, animator, and artist. I'm Charlie Whitney, and I'm a programmer. I got into this by accident, because I lied on a resume uh, that I had to teach myself to program. We were roommates for five years. Yeah. So uh, we know way too much about each other. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's called Giant Gestures, and the physical piece is a gigantic uh, tablet that you use a gigantic foam finger to touch with. And the idea came out of the fact that we're doing all these tiny little gestures every day. Thousands of times a day, you don't even know that you're doing yeah, them anymore. Yeah, and they're pretty meaningless, and so we wanted people to have to do those same gestures, but feel them. So like doing a giant swipe with a finger, and so feeling every one of these swipes and making it sort of like a little performance. For all we know, like swiping and like tapping and pinching to zoom, like that could be completely obsolete in five, ten years. Like a rotary phone was a ubiquitous, like you know, that movement is completely defunct. Is swiping to unlock, is that going to be defunct at some point? Is that going to like fall by the wayside? You'll feel it and maybe you won't think about it until 30 years from now when you're like, ah, remember when you used to swipe to unlock? I wouldn't say it's nostalgic, but it's sort of the uh, living memoir of these gestures. I think more importantly, it's a reinterpretation. I think it's like taking something that's so small and blowing it up. So you can swing a wiffle ball bat in the park, but if you swing, you know, a bat in the World Series, it's the same motion, but recontextualized, it means a lot yep. more. We um, basically are putting like an infrared bezel around a large TV, which basically shoots infrared light and gets a exact point of where you are within this rectangle. Mm -hmm. Translating that into an application that Charlie's writing to keep track of all the data that you're getting in from these touches and then interpreting them and putting them into uh, basically recognizing it just as a normal touch, right? I think that music festivals lend themselves really well to these types of things just because people are already like ready to go outside their comfort zone. You go through so much thought like figuring out how people are really going to interact with something. So taking something that we're familiar with and just reinterpreting it allows for just like immediate understanding. 